Well, today was a really exciting day for us. Uh, we've been waiting for the right conditions where we have calm winds, uh, no turbulence, and stable air at altitude to conduct our uh, test of the um, altitude capabilities of the helicycle. While we know many things uh, about the performance of the helicycle, uh, to our knowledge, no one has had previously taken the ship to the kinds of altitudes that we were going to attempt today. Uh, what we didn't know was much, much greater than the things that we do. Uh, although the engine uh, fuel control is equipped with a altitude compensator, uh, we really didn't know how that was going to react to the um, uh, altitudes that we were going to see in this 40 plus year old engine design. Would it work flawlessly or just flame out at some point uh, uh, in some unknown altitude during the test? Well, we're about to find out. We really didn't know what to expect from the rotor system. Uh, at uh, what point does it lose so much efficiency that it just stops producing lift in that thin air? Or does it reach a point quickly where it just stalls and, um, and now we have to deal with that? Uh, we were certain that we would reach the limits of the rotor system efficiency before the engine. But again, we weren't sure um, how that was going to play out either. We didn't know how much the tail rotor was going to become a factor. Um, was it going to maintain enough uh, anti-torque to keep everything under control at that uh, very high altitudes? Or was it going to be something that was going to limit just how far and how, how high we could go? Again, a big, nut, a big unknown. We were truly about to become test pilots uh, in a real way uh, in this ship. So let's talk about the test. Um, we're going to depart Las Cruces Airport, and the airport is at 4,450 feet uh, elevation, and then climb, uh, climb above the uh, airport, orbiting uh, within the uh, confines of the airport. Uh, and keep going until we just can't go anymore. Uh, for the test, we're using a bone stock Group 5 ship. Um, ADSB is installed in the form of a Uavionics uh, Echo. And um, we have supplemental oxygen on board as well. Uh, the ship has been fueled with 18 gallons of fuel and the expected flight time for this test is about 45 minutes. Uh, that fuel load should give us a good wide margin for safety and uh, include a very, you know, very comfortable 20 to 30 minute reserve. Now, at the time of our uh, takeoff, the density altitude is calculated at 6,162 feet. So, you know, we're starting at a pretty high point uh, to begin with. So now let's go to watch some of the video. So today we're going to um, roll the ship out of the hangar here and um, uh, just try and determine what the uh, service ceiling of this beautiful ship really is. We did a run uh, last year, but uh, due to cold temperatures, we aborted it uh, before we actually found the uh, service ceiling. At that point in time, we had um, reached a, a density altitude of uh, 14,400 feet and we're still climbing. So we knew we weren't uh, quite there yet. Uh, for the run today, uh, we do have onboard oxygen. We've got an ADSB equipped uh, aircraft and um, uh, dressed a little better for the uh, event. And um, our starting temperature here at uh, Las Cruces Airport is 84 degrees at the ground and our starting field elevation is 4,400 feet. So we'll, uh, we've got a good start already on, uh, on altitude. We'll just roll it out and see if we can't uh, find out just how high this thing will go. Stand by.
So we cut off the video and um, so you didn't have to see us spend 25 minutes um, uh, descending back down to the airport and then uh, coming back to our parking spot. Uh, the test was phenomenally uh, uh, successful. Um, absolutely astounded at the performance of this aircraft. Uh, it is just incredible. Uh, one, uh, one short note, uh, earlier I gave you a density altitude of our start, uh, when the test started that was incorrect. Um, 29 degrees centigrade, uh, 4,450 feet uh, in elevation and um, a uh, altimeter setting of 30.11 gave us a starting out, uh, density altitude of 6,817 feet. By the time our test was finished, uh, we climbed to 17,950 feet and uh, stopped right there. Uh, and at that point in time, uh, outside air temperature was minus eight uh, Celsius giving us a density altitude of 20,972 feet. Absolutely incredible that a, uh, a small sport helicopter can achieve that kind of performance. It's absolutely uh, astounding. Um, sorry about the uh, oxygen tube in the video. Uh, at some point that thing had drifted down and, and got into the camera view uh, and you have to just kind of look around it a little bit as you experienced it, but ultimately you can uh, uh, see that we made the uh, uh, 17,950 feet. We were still climbing at 500 feet a minute at 60 miles an hour. Um, just don't know what to say except that uh, we ran out of legal limit. We had to stay uh, uh, outside of Class A airspace, which starts at 18,000 feet. So we ran out of legal limit before we ran out of aircraft performance. Uh, again, just an astounding uh, aircraft. And uh, for those who uh, need something for high, hot uh, operations, the Helicycle is definitely uh, the ship you should be looking at. Thanks, everyone, and have a good day.